Hey guys, it's Nick from BonBonsai.com and today I'm talking about beginner bonsai trees. So here's some simple beginner bonsai trees tips. Bonsai are amazing mini trees that are planted in shallow pots and containers. These beautiful trees can be of any kind of tree that you might like. Some beginner bonsai trees are available at some plant stores or nurseries. These bonsai have already been processed so they're ready for your designing and or training. Before you begin to train your bonsai, you must first get to know what is in store for you. Now, if you're just learning how to, you know, care for a bonsai, then make sure you go to my book if you want to learn how to trim, sculpt, and prune your bonsai. It is at bonbonsai.com forward slash bonsai book. Moving on. When growing beginner bonsai trees, you must sacrifice some of the parts of the plants to be able to make a beautiful design. These come to you without any design at all. They have just been processed to become bon uh, bonsai. It's up to you uh, to know um, how uh, you want your bonsai tree to look in the future. There are many different bonsai styles to choose from. The more common and easier to do ones are the cascade, windswept, slanting, informal, upright, formal, upright, and bunjin. Bonsai enthusiasts uh, can, well, a bonsai enthusiast can choose any of the styles to make theirs uh, into. So just pick one and be like, all right, I want to make that. So some bonsai may have design inclinations already as you buy them. Some may have already uh, may already have straight trunks or have beautiful branches to suit the cascade style. You should study your recent purchase for any inspiration you might get from their present form. So you must also learn to prune both the roots and the crown of your beginning bonsai tree. Pruning means to cut some of the portions to make them more robust or to promote more or growth. You will also have to report your bonsai, or sorry, not report, whoops, <laughs> I don't know how I read that as report, yeah, report to who. Repot your bonsai every one or two years to promote better health and prune the roots. Repotting and pruning of it can also encourage it to grow faster. Now. About every one year is going to be the proper time for repotting for a younger bonsai. As it gets older, the periods in between repotting get longer. For older trees, sometimes it can take, maybe you just don't repot it for five years, but these are older trees, not the ones you're going to get. So uh, I have actually stuff on repotting in my site, on my site rather. So go check it out. Just look it up. Uh, pretty interesting stuff. Uh, you might also want to put yours inside the house during the winter season, especially if they are of the tropical or subtropical variety. Tropical bonsai cannot stand the cold, and bonsai pots that are shallow tend to freeze over if left out in the cold and snow. Keep your beginner bonsai away from the radiator because it can dry out the soil very quickly. Also, you do not want the heat, like that amount of an immense amount of heat just on it it's gonna be uneven heat it's gonna burn and hurt your bonsai so do not put your bonsai near the window during the snowy months because the cold can still seep in during the night and it can stress or kill the tree or and or but excuse me <clears throat> it might stress the tree and then kill it. so it's better to research what kind of tree you have to better be able to cater to its health that's all for this video. Again, if you're wanting to learn how to prune, trim, and sculpt your bonsai, you're just getting started, then make sure you check out my book at bonbonsai.com forward slash bonsai book. Now I'm going to be making more videos like this. I'm sure you already see plenty of videos on my site by this point. So I'll see you in the next one.